As they temple over the war in the Pacific Mounts, more American men and equipment are thrown into the struggle. For some flyers, the trip home is not easy. Here, American flyers are pulled out of the Pacific waters by a surfaced American submarine. The submarine Tang rescues 22 men after they have successfully raided a Jap-held island. Before long, they'll be back at their bases ready to continue pounding the enemy. The plane is not as lucky. To save Allied secrets, a few shells send it on its last mission for the cause of liberty. V-1 carries the right threat of chaos to all civilization. Unarmed people are targets of the inhuman Nazi robot, but American gun crews in Belgium are now fighting back. but unleashes ruin, the right gift to mankind, and allied soldiers rush in to save trapped families. This is war against civilians behind the lines, against women and children in cities far from the front. This is the Nazi pattern of warfare against the world. fighting front, gasoline carries the fight to the enemy. Vital link in the steadily increasing push deeper and deeper into enemy territory, gasoline flows to our fighting men. Into Africa on the heels of the 1942 landings went 1,200 miles of portable pipeline. Today, every front receives 90% of the gasoline it uses through four and six inch pipelines running from seacoast ports to fighting lines. Since D-Day, Portable pipelines like these have handled as many as 1,500,000 gallons of gasoline a day. Damage by enemy action has been negligible. 99% of the gasoline has gotten through. American fighting men patrol the lines, checking and inspecting them constantly. Now spread out over the continent, millions more gallons are stored ready for battle. Ready to do its part in the total defeat of the enemy, Germany. On the jagged western front, Allied forces jabbed from the north and south against Nazi counter thrusts in the middle salient. Here in the north, mud sets the pace for the American Ninth Army pushing deeper into Germany. And winter rules the battlefield. Any sign of life is startling in this desolation. Only big guns belong here. The long Tom talks again. Against Nazi tanks, American machine gunners spray a hail of bullets. Wary eyes watch for the slightest movement in enemy terrain up ahead. 
but an American tank is caught. American Army casualties reach a quarter of a million between D-Day and this December on the Western Front. But Nazi losses soar to over a million men since the Allied landings on Normandy. The Reich is pitting all of its strength against the Allies, but the American Ninth Army spearhead swings further into Germany. Christmas comes in the midst of winter war along the Western Front. To young Americans on the firing line, the mail brings welcome tidings from 3,000 miles away. Goodies come from home, too. St. Nicholas jogs into Luxembourg in an American jeep. Christmas, which was banished by the Nazis, returned in 1944. It wins every child's heart. Santa Claus's aides are American fighting men. But their best gift to the children has been liberation. Over the Belgian border, American soldiers bring the first bit of Christmas cheer since 1940 to these children. This Noel is sweet, sweet with liberty and friendship and many good things. To get full bags of goodies is fun, lots of fun, and just as much fun for their American soldier friends. And in France, the children sing at the Christmas fete given by the American Ninth Air Force. Christmas, 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 Christmas,